Are you tired of losing over and over and over again in Fortnite and want to get your first win? Well, make sure to watch this whole entire video because I got a whole ton of tips and tricks on how to win in Fortnite. Hope you enjoy. Alright, best spot to land. I know it for a fact. Paradise Palms. I'll show you guys why. Alright, so as you can see, pretty, pretty nice and quiet here. No one really lands Paradise Palms, which is really nice. Oh my gosh. Usually when I'm alone, I just chop the building. Ooh, chuggy chuggy. Alright, now that I'm looting that building, there's two chest spawns over here. One right here, and one over there. Nice. You guys are probably asking, why am I not picking up the AR? Or the... Oh, why am I carrying the burst? Because the burst is really accurate. A lot more accurate than the other AR. That's what we're going for now, we're going for accuracy. There is a real player here though. There we go, bro. That chest helped out a lot. Alright, dude. This scope is sorry for I think you guys hear me out. Hear me out. This gun, as a matter of fact, is not trash, as everyone calls it. This gun is actually very good. All you gotta do is practice with it a lot. Gotta practice, gotta practice. Uh, learn to get, you know, get good with the Sarkle. And then this thing will become the most OP item I've ever used. In chapter one, anyways. It's like, this is the only skull weapon, bro. Like, I could hit someone from up there easily. You can't do that with a scar or even a burst. And it's time to go to zone, and there's an ATK that spawns you. So I'm kind of taking this bad boy in the zone. And my loadout was so good. Just for Paradise, look, just for Paradise Bomb, dude. Also, one thing, drops, dude. You want to get those drops. It is so incredibly rare to find a single decent rarity weapon. <gasps> oh my gosh, the mall, the mall, the mall, the mall, the mall. Two Lamas! Oh my gosh! Bro, what are the odds? There's no chance. That's gonna be like 100. We got this Lama, and we got another Lama over there, but that's crazy. Okay, that is crazy, bro. That is awesome. And play your uh, fight smart, too. We're just randomly rushing, we have no loot. We'll click AR beams, and then if you hit him for like over like 70, then you can kill him. Like, bro, my pain is so bad. Look at that damage, dude. Wacky wacky. No. Brother. He really just did that to me. The boogie bomb. Oh, guys, also, if, instead of a grenade launcher, you guys can carry a boogie bomb if you want. <gasps> oh, uh, oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Loadout complete. Finish. Look at that, guys. And well, all I could use right now is a better AR and tag. Although the purple and gold tack is probably like the best items ever in Fortnite history. Being dead serious. So now we got medium and long range. We got really close range and then we got like super duper long range. It's looking really good. And then the grapple from ability, chug jug for heal. This is the perfect level, guys. And if you land the um, Paradise Palms, you could easily get this loadout. Now, now that we got the loadout and the drop spot covered, what are we gonna what are we doing when we fight a player? Hmm? Obviously, like I did, you have to get like a decent beam on them. You can't just like full on key them if you have like, I mean, if you have like a gold tack, you can just just get in their face. What do you guys put the equal like we know when the fight most likely because the gold tack will be. What if you have a loadout like mine where it's not the absolute like best for combat? Get a nice little beam on them. Seventy plus damage, you can safely key and win the fight. You know, even like a nice like body sniper or something like that against somebody, then you can key, but. If you don't have any damage on them, and you just like with people, people, do not key them. I mean, if they key you, and you're the health disadvantage, just do your absolute best to run anybody for mobility. You just gotta stay there and just fight. No, for the best, dude. Like, bro, back there, the guy, I literally lasered the guy. I didn't for like, how much did I even hit for? I didn't for like 150 something, bro. It was crazy. And if I didn't do that much damage to him beforehand either, I would have died. I literally would have died because he got me down to 38 health. Oh, this dude, the level up sound is sick. All right, right now you're probably like, why are you not going king people? Because it's literally like 
It's mid to like, it's like mid late game right now. Like, not mid late game, but like it, it's mid game, about to enter late game right now. So, we gotta do. You just gotta find like a good like high ground spot with good cover. So like if someone fires me from over here, I can go back there. Oh my gosh! If someone fires me from over there, I just head back over there. This is a really good spot. But just make sure you can get around easily in this spot. You're gonna chill. I mean, obviously, it's not a tournament, so, like, don't be too scared to fight. I'll be looking- if I see somebody, I'll shoot them for sure, but I'm not gonna full key them unless they hit them for a lot. You, you did not just do that, buddy. There's no chance they missed that. What? This guy is Superman, brother. So like right there, just you know that guy's in a good spot because like no matter where I am, he can see me. No chance I missed that. I never did miss that. Oh! Oh! Oh baby! Let's go, let's take care of sniper boys. That is exactly my favorite sniper. Now we can get the drop without being scared. There's no one around here. Ooh, gold to press they are. That is not gonna do. Oh, the gold scar, dude. That is tempting. Look, if you guys really wanted to, you guys should probably like drop your sniper for it if you want. You see, it's an SMG. So I'm telling you, for like for like an AR, this thing takes the cake, dude. Damage, bro. Alright, but now we are end game, so we need to find us a good spot, you know. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be a little smart kid. I'm gonna grab this. Oh, shoot, someone's going up there already. It's not good. Who do they think they are? Totally back up, back up, back up. That is not a fight you want to take. I'm telling you guys right now, that's a really bad fight. One, because the guy has a purple or gold spaz. And two, if you even kill me, you get third party and die. Alright, so this, you know, his spot is not in circle, which is really good. It's really good for us, because now when he's fighting, we just get into a nice spot. Alright, what I'm going to do right now, this endgame, I'm going to drop that. The thing about endgame is, like, you just wanna, you want a third party. Going for actual fights, like, taking someone on head on head is a really bad idea. Oh, shoot. <laughs> but if you wanna go for a cheeky little shot like that, it's all good. <laughs> Dang it, he did not move. Or he did move. That guy's a purple tack I saw, bro. Purple or gold tack. Getting so broke, no matter what, no matter what. Got him. Me and that person have a grenade launcher. That guy's on height, which is not good. gonna be staring right down on my face. Oh my god. Holy oh, radar. And just get the freaking wind dude. That's how you do it! That's how you play the rotates, that's like end game. Let's go bro, we had a gold tag too. If bro, that's a good thing. You just gotta you just gotta play for the best play. Because if I just randomly keyed him. I would have died, he had a gold tag. 